and brought the Yahweh Brakatha, Yahweh Shah, brought the Yahweh Brakatha, Yahweh Shah Bashan, Rekakwadash, double honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Resist the Devil. Lord will, you are edified. James 4 and 6. But he give more grace. Wherefore he said, The Most High resist the proud, but give grace unto the humble. Verse 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. All right. Now, the focal point for this lesson is resisting the devil. And our case study will be Yahweh Shah. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. And this is what Yahweh Shah did. All right. This is exactly what Yahweh Shah did. Let's go to Luke chapter 2. And verse 49, and he, referring to Yahweh said unto them, his parents, how is it that you sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? All right. And that was the mindset of Yahweh when he turned to the age of 12, right? Being about his father's business. Okay. Let's go to John. Chapter 17. And verse 1, these words spoke Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come. Glorify your son that your son also may glorify you. Verse 2, as you have given him power over all flesh. Let's read that again. As you have given him power over all flesh that he should give eternal life to as many as you have given him, starting with the 144,000. And this is life eternal, that they might know you, the only true power, and Yahweh Mashiach, whom you have sent. Verse 4, I have glorified you on the earth, I have finished the work which you gave me to do. James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High. And this is exactly what Yahweh did. He dotted every I. He crossed every, every, every T. Okay? Let's go back. I have glorified you on the earth. I have finished the work which you gave me to do. Verse 5. And now, O Father, glorify you me with your own self, with the glory which I had with you before the world was. Hence, Yahweh Shah has the title, the only begotten son. He's the only spirit. Yahweh created. Okay. Now let's go back. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Let's get an example of resisting the devil.
Luke chapter 4 and verse 1. And Yahweh Shah, being full of the Holy Spirit, returned from Jordan and was led by the Spirit into the wilderness, being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, meaning he was fasting. And when they were ended, he afterward hungered. And the devil said unto him, If you be the Son of the Most High, command this stone that it be made bread. And Yahweh Shai answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of the Most High. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Yahweh's remarks are examples of resisting the devil, okay? Combating Satan with the scriptures, applying the scriptures in real time, all right? This is a great example of this. Hence, Yahweh has a title also, the captain of our salvation. Verse 5. And the devil, taking him up into an high mountain, showed unto him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Verse 6. And the devil said unto him, All this power I will give you, and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me. Meaning what? For that is delivered unto me. So, Yahweh, through Yahweh Shai, gave Satan a time frame to rule, if you can receive that, all right? And this further proves that Satan doesn't run a goddamn thing. Power was given to him from Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, okay? And the devil said unto him, all this power I will give you and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it. And at this time frame, this so-called power, or this dominion, or this blessing, is going into Esau's kingdom. And we are at the end of Esau's rulership. All right? Verse 7. If you therefore will worship me, all shall be yours. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Get you behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord, your power, and him only shall you serve. Again, this is an example of resisting the devil. And let's focus on resisting, or salakia, resist, according to the Greek. Strong's G436, Anthistemi. Anthistemi. Which means to set oneself against, to withstand, to oppose, to set against. So by Yahweh Shah combating Satan with the words of Yahweh, right? He was setting himself against Satan. He was withstanding Satan. He was opposing Satan. He was resisting Satan. Okay. All right, let's go back. Verse 9. And he brought him to Jerusalem and set him on a pinnacle of the temple and said unto him, If you be the son of the Most High, cast yourself down from here. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you to keep you. And in their hands they shall bear you up, least at any time you dash your foot against a stone. And Yahweh Shai answering said unto him, It is said, You shall not tempt the Lord your power. Again, another example of Yahweh Shai setting himself against Satan. All right, let's continue. Right, let's continue. And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Let's read that again. 
And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed from him for a season. Meaning what? Through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah was able to resist Satan three times. And three times is confirmation, right? Confirmation that Yahweh Shah was with his father, right? And he could not be tempted by Satan. And he resisted Satan. And therefore, what did Satan do? What did he do? And when the devil had ended all the temptation, he departed, right? He departed. Going into James 4 and 7. And he will flee from you. So the more we, the more we resist Satan, such as Yahweh Shai, he's going to leave. Okay? He's going to leave. And there's nothing Satan can do, right, without being authorized from Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. He departed from him for a season, okay? Let's get one more precept to wrap it up. I think it's in Hebrews 12. Hey, this is Hebrews 12 and 2. Let me start at verse 1. Wherefore, seeing we also are compassed about with, with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which do so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Verse 2. Looking unto Yahweh Shah. See, Yahweh Shah is the case example. All right, Yahweh Shai is the blueprint. All right, Yahweh Shai is the instructions. Yahweh Shai is the cheat code. All right, looking into Yahweh Shai, the author and finisher of our faith. All right, author meaning what? Pioneer in the Greek. Finisher meaning what? The highest example of our faith. All right. Again, Yahweh Shah is the highest example of our faith. He's the blueprint. Looking unto Yahweh Shah, the pioneer and highest example of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of the Most High. Now remember, uh, Lord will, we are, you know, we are the elect, right? We have the opportunity, if predestined, to sit on the right hand of Yahweh Shai. As Yahweh Shai sits on the right hand of Yahweh, we have the opportunity to sit on the right hand of Yahweh Shai, meaning being joint heirs. Only if it's predestined. Lord, will you edify? Shalom.